with the machine needles has been resolved. had an email today saying I'm just checking that you did want to pick these up from our Mansfield store. I'm nowhere near Mansfield <laughs> so I don't know how that's happened. Probably my menopausal mishap has just done something and pressed a button that it shouldn't have pressed and instead of pressing delivery, I asked to pick it up from their Mansfield store. <laughs> so I've just paid the postage for that and it's coming in the post finally. And then I can finally get on with some sewing over a week later. At least the mystery solved.
has an antique shop and I picked up this lovely bread bin. I just love it because it reminds me of my grandma's old bread bin. Isn't it lovely? I mean it's a bit bigger than I imagined it would be. It didn't look that big in the shop window. <laughs> but yeah it's gonna fit lots of bread in it isn't it? Look at it. It's hugely deep. I just got some hot cross buns in there at the moment. I need to swap my bread across. I'll pop my bread in there. But it needs a bit of zhuzhing up. It needs a bit of pretty. I might see what ribbons I've got. I can attach a bit of liberty to the handle, perhaps. We shall see. I mean, I would have preferred it to have been green. <laughs> but it's not. It's red. And that's fine. <clears throat> I just love getting odd things like that because I just wonder what, what sort of past it's had. It's very worn look. Yeah, so I've wanted one for ages, but it's, it's just having the space, isn't it, on the worktops? Oh dear, look at that. Better not leave that. Or else. I get black marks. Yeah, it's just having the space. But at least I can take lots of bread out of the cupboard now and have a, a shelf free in my cupboard. Good morning. I'm just sat having finished work for the day. Morning. And the sun's coming out, so I'm just sat here for five minutes, catching my breath before I go home you'd like to see the lovely sunshine and hear the birds sing. Bye. 
it is Sunday today. I'm not sure of the date. Uh, what is it? Must be about the 14th. <laughs> I don't know. You'll know the date, won't you? But I just wanted to show you this little doily I made. It's not perfect. Let's look at this card. Isn't it cute? <laughs> yeah, it's not perfect. Mm, that's heavy. And I would have liked it a bit bigger, really, so I wish I'd have done another round. I just want to cover up this tray because I've had it for years and it's got a bit scratchy. So this is uh, made with some cotton some cotton yarn and I'm not very good with uh, crocheting with cotton but this was just a little pattern from Bella Coco crochet so if you want to make one that's where you'll find the pattern and she also does a tutorial so you just keep going and making the round bigger yeah I'm happy with that I might make another one because I'd like it to be a bit bigger oh still burning my Christmas candle Yes, not much going on today. My needles arrived. Hallelujah. Bilbo's here. <laughs> There's no roast dinner to cook today. So that's good. We're going out with friends. Lots of the cake has been delivered to mum. I think Mark's um, finding it quite difficult not to have a slice of that. So am I. I wanted to show you this little lady. Oh, please don't look at the garden, look at the mess. See them big conifers? They're the reason that we can never have a garden. We just can't grow anything in it. They sap all the goodness. Yes, I picked her from Lidl. I was looking at them the other day and then my good friend Sam said, how did you not pick up one of them bunnies? And it made me think about going back to get one. So I did and I picked her with this pretty dress and green boots. Got all my little friends there. This is a lovely little gift from my friend Abby. Look at her. Isn't she cute, bunny bear? Is she wig on? So she's just hanging out with all the other friends at the moment in Paula's little bear from Stitch for Mrs. D. Not for you, Bilbo. No, I'm afraid not. You would know to leave them teddies alone, don't you? You've got your own teddy. <laughs> Really fell back. <laughs> and there's little bits of Easter coming in. I showed you this last time, didn't I? You can't see the little eggs now. Never mind. Bilbo on cue is having a drink. A few eggs up there. I did have loads more Easter stuff. I just don't know what I've done with it all. Got some lovely tulips and hyacinths. I'm trying to keep these curtains as closed as I can because we've friends coming over and I do not need them to walk in there and see the mess in there. And I still haven't got to do the blinds. Thank you everybody for your recommendations for the, to get rid of the mold. I have got it in my shopping basket to get some uh, white vinegar. I've got some lovely chocolates. These were in the parcel from my friend Abby. So that's hard as well walking past them and not eating those is there anything eastery there no i got my mrs b and mr b mugs up because they're not usually out let's put the light on you wouldn't believe would you that it's what's the time belpo what's the time oh it's not yet 10 o'clock and it's yeah, as usual, I'm not going to go on about it, but it's raining. What else did I get? I'm sure there was something else over here I wanted to show you. Oh, yes, that little lady. There she is. <laughs> oh, and my bread bin. Yeah, so um, there's an antique shop where we went, and I'm sure I've already taken a clip of this. I don't know. You take so many clips through the week, you forget what you have filmed. Uh, yeah, it was in an antique shop. It's very deep, look. Yeah, when it's in the window, it's a bit like when you go to a field and pick a real Christmas tree. It didn't really look that big. 
And then I got it home and I thought, oh, it's huge. Never mind, be able to fit loads in it. I've got lots of washing up to do. Uh, 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 was that it in here? Yep. Yeah. Got my chickens up there, but they're always up there. Looking down on the kitchen. Yeah, so it's looking a little bit more Easter looking, isn't it, Bilbo? What's in it? Oh, yes. Oh, look, I've just washed the floor. Probably a mistake in the rain. And it's cold. So the fire's on. What's Easter in it? Oh, me eggs. Yep. I showed you those, didn't I? Oh, please don't look at me. I'm just home from work. <laughs> and I've got to go and spruce myself up for going out for dinner. Aren't they pretty? And I got my little bunny. Got her a couple of years ago from Emma Bridgewater. Oh, that's on the floor ready for editing. And the little vase to match with a little ladybug on it. Ladybird, ladybug, what do you call it? Turn that off. Oh yes, that's what I wanted to show you. I've been trying to sort out my notions. So look at this pretty basket. Look. It's the small things that cheer us, isn't it? Let's turn you around that way. Oh, look. I've got this lovely little purse from Jules. Yes, you're having a sniff as well. Can you smell Mabel? <laughs> I probably not. I bet Mabel's not allowed to get anywhere near these beauties. Look. I've got all my favourite bits in here. So I'm just keeping all of my favourite notions in here. Oh, look. I've got sheep, I've got donuts. The sheep. Little pandas. What's that? All the little macaroons. So, yep, I keep all my favourite notions in there. The little purse of beauty, and I've got this lovely little purse from my friend, my friend Abby. Everything's collapsing on me. And this pretty little guardian angel it was from a friend last year. I went to a anniversary party, and a lady makes these. And it happens. Yep, I've got all my tools. What do you have by the side of you when you're knitting? Do you just have a big purse of tools that you can't be without? And my, just my favourite tin. My mum got me this a few years ago. And, oops, this could go wrong. I could open it with one hand and it's going to go everywhere. need so many tools on hand I think. Yep so just that and my little tape measure in there. I used to keep my minis in there but now I'm keeping them in my little bunny. Pop you in there. Yeah so I love just having this by the side of me and looking at it because it's so pretty. And where are we? Oh yes look so I'm keeping them in my bunny now. And I'm just keeping my patchwork blanket in here. I don't think I've made any progress on that since I showed you last. So I'm just just on this speckly orangey green one. And I've got a few more. Look, it's growing. I pick up a few more. So that's good. So I'm going to just keep going and going on that until it gets dry huge. Uh, was that it? Yes, it was. Just wanted to have a little chat with you. Oh, yes, you found the warm position, haven't you? Hmm? It's because his chair's not got his blanket on it. I thought I'd better take it off. <laughs> it looks a bit messy. Oh, dear. Are you like that when you have visitors coming around? You just try to tidy up and take things off that would usually be there and... Yeah, but was not very happy. Let me show you in here. I wanted to show you. Well, it's not a very nice thing to hold on. Yeah, the toilet seat is down. Nobody needs to see that. Um, I've got 
candle up, as always. I mean, why? Why put a candle in the toilet? You just feel like you have to. <laughs> when you have people around, they might not even use the toilet. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you that look. It's not wallpaper. It's, it's that vinyl stuff, sticky stuff. I pop that on there. I quite like it. Lots of different patterns. Yeah, so that's my horrible downstairs cloak room that just is filled with all these. You know, when it when it was um, popular to have all these things, <laughs> phrases, even though it's one there, look, they're everywhere. But what can you do to a downstairs cloak room? Yeah, especially when you don't have a utility room, so everything lives in there. You know, the hoover, the mop, the brush. I mean, the brush is usually out all the time. <laughs> Shopping bags, and that basket is just medicines and stuff. There's just nowhere to put it. That, we can turn that off now. Oh, look, there's another bunny. What a surprise. <laughs> oh, it'll look pretty, won't it? Mm, it will. Right, I shall catch up with you later in the week. Mark's away this week with work, so I'm free to get the camera out. Although I don't know when this will go up. I'm going to try and drag it out to every two weeks because I think you'll all get bored of me. Otherwise, I get bored of myself, so I'm sure you'll get bored of me if I continue with the weekly vlogs. So see you later. Bye. everyone it is the 20th of march today and it is a bit of a gloomy wednesday it looks a bit dark outside which is a shame because the sun was shining yesterday and it was lovely but it would be boring if every day was the same wouldn't it <laughs> so bilbo and i are just having some mummy and bilbo time he's looking alert because he thinks he's heard somebody coming and he's quite grumpy because the postman just woke him up. <laughs> and now he's probably thinking, who on earth is mummy chatting to? Because daddy's away for three days and already we're missing him. I do enjoy the peace and quiet and you can just come and go as you like, can't you? Not worry about tea or anything, but you do miss him when he's away. So Friday can't come around soon enough. I'm so sorry I won't be able to do a face-to-face -face chat this week. I'm feeling a bit poo. <laughs> I have got a nasal infection of all things. I've not had a cold or anything. But I suppose for quite a few months now, I've had pimples up my nose inside my nostrils. And I know it sounds really trivial, and that's why I've left it for so long. But no sooner one pimple goes, then the next week you get another one and they're really big and painful. 
and you can barely touch your nose. So I don't know if it's allergies. I do have an allergy to pet dander, which is not great because I've got Bilbo, but Bilbo wins over any pet allergy, I'm afraid. <laughs> and I did only find out after I had him and I've had dogs all, all my life. So it's weird how these allergies come on when you get older. Yeah, anyway, I took myself to the doctors this week because I thought, yes, it's trivial, but actually it's getting on my nerves now and it's making me feel a bit ropey and dizzy in the head. And she said it was infected, so I've got some cream to go up inside my nostrils and I'm hoping that that will put pay to that once and for all. Let's see. Fingers crossed. So I'll not have a face-to-face -face chat with you. It's not a pretty sight and I will save all my face-to-face -face chat for next week and hopefully I've got some news. And I imagine I have because Evelyn's coming home on Monday, which is brilliant news. And also my eldest son, Alistair, is coming home at the end of the month as well. He's in the RAF and he's been in Cyprus for about two months now. So everybody's coming home again, which is just lovely. Knitting news. Hmm. Oh, let me move that aside for a moment. Knitting news. I've started my Herkel Durkel shawl. Sorry, I'm trying to do this one handed. Not easy. And I love it. Oh, it just feels, it just feels lovely, you know. I love Kelly and Nick's yarn from Lay Family Yarn. It's so soft. And I am trying to do the Curious Handmade Piece of Wild Things shawl. And if you zoom in on it, you can see that you can have beads. Unfortunately, I don't have any, so you don't have to put them in. You can leave them out. So I'll do that for this one. And if I make another one, I will get some pretty beads, I think. Look at this. A little bit worried about that because, yeah, that's a bit scary for me. But I think I'll be fine as long as I leave that bit when I've got a bit more concentration going. <laughs> so I've started that. And that is um, a the Herkel Durkel when I uh, knit along. It's all over uh, Instagram. And you can look that up if you look up on Gainer's vlog from Tales from Cuckoo Land. Or if you go over to Lay Family Yarn and Kelly's vlog as well, she'll talk about that. Sorry about my messy ball, look at this. I've got a swift, but I've not got a ball winder yet. So they don't look very nice and round. <laughs> I've done a few more squares of my happy patchwork. I think I've done two more since I spoke to you last. I'm just on this one now, next which is a lovely movie, movie sort of green, going into the greens, like that. And I have made another bag. And this is a gift for a friend. There go, got some mice, chicken, bunnies. And I've got these little labels that you iron on what I had them I got them a while back and I've just lined this one with a strawberry lining don't quite happy with this one because it's the first one where everything's come together nicely even these little channels match up and I think the squares match up better than the last one so I'm very happy with that. I think I've got one more to make as a gift and then I'm going to give them a rest for a little while. Because they're quite hard work, aren't they? And I've just decorated my Easter twig tree outside in the kitchen. I've got my Easter lights on. Might have to put the fire on soon because it's getting nippy. And I'm watching some, I found some Wurzel Gummidge on YouTube. 
So I'm watching some episodes of that because oh, it used to be one of my favourite programmes, Wurzel Gummidge. I loved it. And I used to love it when he could change his head. You know, when he just unscrewed his head and put a new one on. <laughs> Wouldn't it be good if we could all do that now and again when we fancy a change? <laughs> oh dear. So I will see you for a better chat next week, everybody. I hope you're all having a fabulous week and enjoying your crafting. Lots of love from me and Bilbo. Bye for now. Bye. That's the original Maria, isn't it? When is a door not a door? I don't know what that is. Ah, there it is. We ah, all read it today. What's August? Opening 230 pounds. Brad Tuck, Dunky Dark, Forge of Tennis, Shows and Spells, Bars, Dots, Jimmy's Pain, Prizes, Prizes, Prizes. I'm selling.